As we pass the two-year mark of Fortnite's Battle Royale game mode, it's quite fitting to reflect upon the core elements that makes the game so darn unique. Building and editing. Yes, guys, without the core abilities that allow you to terraform your surroundings, Fortnite would be your run-of-the-mill Battle Royale game and had practically no chance of blowing up the way it did. This is why today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to take a look at the top five editors in all of Fortnite. What's good everybody, you know me, it's Dan, and this is a video that I am so hyped to make. We don't give enough love to our cracked creative warriors and pro players that shine over everybody else in this category, which is why this video is long overdue. But before the video starts, I got one tiny favor to ask you. We strive very hard to bring you the best content out there, so show us your support by liking the video, subscribing, and visiting ProGuides.com for the latest trending articles, VOD reviews, and just about everything you need to know about competitive Fortnite. We also have on-demand 24-7 coaching, so be sure to check that out by clicking the link in the description. So make sure to follow our Instagram page where we post daily highlights and sick clips for all your entertainment. The link will be in the description. All right, with all that said, let's jump into our list. Number five on our list is the man, the myth, the howl. Man, this is so hard. I just want to put everybody at number one. They're all so good and it boggles my mind, but we have to start somewhere and I think howl safely makes our list. Now, the story of howl really goes back, all the way back to when stretch res was a thing. Oh, by the way, can we get an F in the comments for stretch res? <laughs> but for real, we gotta go back to when Mongrel posted this edit course challenge over the winter of 2018. And guys, everyone was doing the edit course trying to win the $500 cash prize associated with it. Even the biggest content creators were doing it. But you know where this goes. Hal goes to set the world record at 246. Two minutes and 46 seconds. Then he beats his own record with a two minute and 45 second time. And then setting the bar even higher at 240. Absolutely bonkers. He also gained over 4 million channel views from just these three videos, sparking huge interest in the new kid on the block. But you guys probably haven't seen these videos yet because it is the jaw-dropping 2 minutes and 33 seconds time that he set 3 months later that really caught everyone's attention. 11 million views, guys. I gotta assume that most of you have seen this work of art, but if not, well, you're seeing it now, so you're welcome. If you think that this was Hal's 15 minutes of fame and now it's up, well, you're mistaken, partner. Hal went on to set multiple other records, such as Slappy's edit course and even more recently, Flood's edit course. Guys, take a look at just how hard these edits are. The thing about speedrunning is that not only do you have to be lightning fast, but you also have to be thunderously accurate. <laughs> I love puns. Okay, I'll go back to the corner now. You can talk the talk when posting Twitter clips, but really walk the walk when you set multiple world records like our good friend Hal did right here. Coming up fourth on our list is Flood. We just talked about how Hal got the world record on his own edit course, so putting him above Hal might be a hot take, but allow me to explain and hopefully you will see as well. Like seriously guys, if you've been on YouTube for more than a few hours, you've probably seen his crazy edits. There's no escaping it. Just to give you an idea of how serious this guy takes his edits, he literally used to have his bio on Twitter say, slow editor. <laughs> Humble? Maybe. But what we do know for sure is that this guy is a total beast, so let's just roll the footage. Take a look at this first clip. He's styling on kids in a Creative Zone Wars server. A Creative Zone Wars. Just watch slowly and absorb how fast his brain works. First, he slides away from the competition and snaps an edit in hopes to get a quick shot. When that doesn't work out, guys, he goes full Creative Warrior mode with the free builds. Not only does he utilize some pretty complex building strategies, but also those edits. Crystal clear edits allow him to re-establish the high position and go for an easy pump and SMG follow-up. Well, relatively easy compared to what he just did beforehand. Hold up, that's not the only clip-worthy material he has. He's posting clips like this on the daily. Like, he goes for a series of insanely difficult edits to perform on their own, let alone in a perfect sequence, and still has the composure to land the kill shot on his adversary. Spectacular! Now, the hot take part. Putting Flood above Howl on this list comes directly from a friendly 1v1 that took place between the edit gods. We can't exactly show you the direct footage because of copyright reasons, but he literally calls this 1v1 a battle between the edit gods. He knows it, we know it, everyone knows that these guys are both cracked. 
Anyways, it looks like both Flood and Howl hold their weight quite equally, but Flood edges out a few extra nasty edit plays against a very skilled opponent. For this reason, we need to put him at number 4. Let's hop over from Creative Warrior to Pro Players just for number 3. You know this edit god list wouldn't be complete without our boy Mongrel. Like, for real, did any of you guys think we wouldn't put EU's Golden Boy and Tournament Beast on this list? First of all, look at these tunnels. The Christmas in the game, baby. Man, that gives me goosebumps. But Dan, that's only free building. Okay, fine. Let's take a look at a real build battle against another EU pro. Just watch how he grabs an edit and instinctively grabs another edit before the previous edit gets confirmed on our screen. Man, I just said edit like a billion times. Not only that, but I think it's worth noting that fast editing while in combat is way more difficult than in free build situations. It's just uncomparable since when you're in combat, you're more worried about your opponent than blazing fast edits. Well, Mongrel, for some superhuman reason unbeknownst to us, can do both, I guess? Either way, this one is a no-brainer for me. Like, I get that this list is talking about the fastest editors and not the most well-rounded players, so we can't just slap Montreal on the list and call it a day. Instead, Mongolia takes an acceptable number three, and if we're being completely honest, he'll probably be on the top of one of our next lists. We're inching our way to the top of our list. Man, I can practically taste it from here. But before that, we need to talk about our runner-up. Good old number two, JFNBR. I will say this one is a shot out of left field, so to speak, as he's definitely the most underrated person on our list. In fact, there's a pretty good chance you haven't even heard of this guy. Jay originally entered the limelight after qualifying for the duos portion of the Fortnite World Cup with his teammate Little. Both joined the infamous team Kungarna, which really catapulted their social media channels. With the newly found social presence, let's just say that Jay has been using it to his full potential. I mean, let's just break down one of the most recent Twitter clips, a collection of nutted plays. You can tell he knows what he's doing with edits just as fast, if not faster, than our aforementioned mongrel. I know it's a tough ask, but Jay really brings that level of speed to the table. Now, what actually made me want to put Jay on this list to begin with wasn't the speed. Actually, it was the fact that he could make really complex edits so fast, yet have so much control over his mouse. You see, other edit warriors flick their crosshairs across their screen in an effort to keep up with their cracked out brains. No, no, not Jay. He is smooth, calm, and collected, and most importantly, ready to dish out a huge pump shot at any time. Okay guys, we got here, took long enough, standing tall and proud at number one, none other than Raider464. I mean, what else did you expect? This guy is basically the grandfather of fast editing, with his innovative double edit keybinds that really edges him out from the competition. It's not even just that he uses double edit keybinds, it's how fluent he is with them. I mean, I don't even have words for this, this is some witchcraft. Don't take it from me, roll the footage and see for yourself. This is just a small display of the many talents that Raider has, only possible due to the double edit keybinds. It takes a true savant to master this craft, and Raider makes it look easy as pie. I wish that I could edit a floor and ramp consistently, and this guy can edit a floor, ramp, and wall every level while sprinting? That's incredibly rare, and a true talent in my opinion. Everyone else in this list, sure, they're great, and they deserve their spots, but Raider really takes the cake. Remember what I said earlier in the video regarding free building being different than combat? Well, Raider applies arguably the fastest editing in the world to many combat situations and thrives. Haters, you guys really have no excuses here. Just a little side note, go and check out Raider's channel. We'll link the video where he talks about how to set up double edit keybinds in our description, so show him some love for hitting the top of our list. Alright y'all, let's recap what we learned. Everybody on this list is nuts and that's about it. Bye! On a serious note, even though everyone listed here is obviously amazing at their craft, subtle nuances like ability to apply fast edits in a competitive setting really is what allowed us to rank these players. At the end of the day, what's a good skill if you can't actually use it to complement your gameplay? That's gonna be the video guys, and if you enjoyed, well, you know the drill, leave that like, yo, it gives us so much motivation to keep posting videos every single day. You want the content? Well, we got the content, and it's all free for you to benefit from, so just show us some love and in return. Also, thank you so much for 200,000 subscribers, everyone. Let's keep it going. It's been real. Sincerely, your host, Dan, and I'll see you in the next one.